Hello and welcome to For the Love of Food. Today, we're not going to throw away those old brown bananas. It's the end of the week and I have three left over. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and make banana bread. So I'm browning up five tablespoons of butter. I want it to actually be brown, but not burnt. As you can see, our oven is preheating to a nice temp of 350 All degrees. My ingredients have already been brought forward, so I'll tell you what they are, and then we'll talk a little bit about them as we put them in. One of the other items that I did to prep was to get my pan ready. So I lightly coated it. This time I did have a little cooking spray to see if it would work, but you could use butter too. And then I put a couple of um, spoonfuls of flour and just moved it all around. So that's going to help my bread not to stick. The other ingredients that I have in front of me that I've already prepped is the egg. So we have one beaten egg here that we're going to be adding. As you can see, we have a cup and a half of flour, a half a cup of sugar. We have some chopped pecans, of course our bananas. Now I use three, but you can also use four, so don't feel bad if you gotta throw that fourth one in there. It only makes it more banana-y. Uh, we're going to be putting in a half, a, a quarter a, a teaspoon of cinnamon, a quarter a teaspoon of salt. We're going to put in two tablespoons of honey, and we're going to put in one teaspoon of baking soda. So those are going to be our ingredients and we'll be back in a second to add in our five tablespoons of butter and get our mixture going. You can going. see my butter has got a nice brown color to it. So um, what I'm going to be doing with that butter is I'm going to put it right in with my mashed bananas in a second. But I'm going to mash them up and um, we'll be back. All right, I've mashed my bananas with this little gadget here, which you can buy in any grocery store. It's usually used for mashed potatoes, but as you can see, it worked great on my bananas. Now they don't have to be completely running, just to the point where they're um, just divided up amongst themselves and a little mushy. Alrighty, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add right into those bananas some of my ingredients. We're gonna start with the browned butter. So I'll just dump that right in. I like to make sure we got it all. There we go. If I'm not sure and I want the rest of it, I can just scoop that right in. My handy dandy spatula. All right, the next ingredient I wanna add into the bananas is the half cup of sugar. So I'm going to go ahead and add the half a cup of sugar directly in with my bananas. Now, I'm just going to mix that around so that we have a nice consistency of sugar, butter, and bananas. Now I have one more wet ingredient, well two more wet ingredients I should say, that I'm going to add into the banana mixture. That is my beaten egg. There we go. And I'm also going to add in my two tablespoons of honey. All right, here is one with that beautiful honey. And let's get the second tablespoon of honey added in there. There we go. All right. So we've got our honey in there. We've got our bananas in there. We've got our butter. And so all of our wet ingredients are now in the bowl. And I'm just going to combine them all together. Just moving them around. Now it's time to go ahead and add in our dry ingredients. So let's go ahead and put in our flour. Put 
we're going to put in our uh, quarter teaspoon of salt. We're going to put in our quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. And I like to go a little heavier on the cinnamon. It's a little more than a quarter. And we're going to put in our one teaspoon of baking soda. So now we have all of our dry ingredients. We're going to mix all of our dry ingredients together. And then we are going to add our wet ingredients to it. And then we will have the dough for our banana bread. So let's go ahead and pour that all in. And the last thing we'll do before we put it in the pan is we'll fold in all those nice pecans. Now, you can roast the pecans if you prefer. They do bring out a nice flavor when you roast them. Um, today, we're just going to go ahead and add them. I like the flavor of them just raw, too. So it makes no difference. It's up to you. If you really want a very nutty flavor in your banana bread, then go ahead and roast them. So as you can see, our banana bread has a um, good consistency here. It isn't too wet. It isn't too um, thick like a cookie dough. It's somewhere right in the middle of all that. I just want to make sure I got the flour all stirred in. so We don't have any dry ingredients left over. We need all of them. And now let's go ahead and fold in our pecans. We're just going to fold those in very nicely. And now we can go ahead and put them right into, put this whole mixture right into our pan for our banana bread. Now, why banana bread? Now, I guess my mom used to make it when I was a kid, but I'm from the uh, school that you don't, you don't waste anything. And even after the bananas start to get icky, they're still good for bread. So when they're the color of the, well, when they get the color of like a black or brown, and they got so many spots that nobody will eat them, there's still something you can do. And that is make bread. Now, if you do only have one left over, what I usually do is I just freeze it for a smoothie. And what I'm doing is I'm making sure that I don't have anything spilled on the top of my pan because that will burn, right? All right, so let's go ahead and get the rest off the spatula. Like I said, I try not to waste anything. There we go. All right. So we've got that in there. Now, here's one secret I didn't tell you. I'm going to take a little bit of more sugar, and I'm going to sprinkle that on the top of the banana bread. Now, if you have turbano sugar, that's great. I find I always have regular sugar on hand, so all I do is I just come in here, and I do make a little line. I'll probably do two or three teaspoons, just depending on how evenly it spreads. Let's go for three today. There we go. So that I make sure that everybody who gets a little bite has got that nice little sweetness on the top. Now we're going to put it in the oven on the middle rack and we're going to bake it for approximately 45 minutes. Now I say approximately because there's a lot of factors in banana bread for some reason. Sometimes it takes 50 minutes. Sometimes at 45 I'm completely done. But I'm going to start checking it at 40, seeing where we're going with it, how it's coming out. And how I'm going to check it is I'll be inserting a toothpick right into the middle of that um, to make sure that the toothpick comes out clean. Alrighty, we're going to go ahead and pop this in the oven and we'll be back to it when we go to check it. Thanks. Alright, so I have just taken my bread out of the pan that it was in and just flipped it over and now I'm just gonna flip it back so that it's right side up. And there we have it, a beautiful banana bread 
Thanks for watching Love of Food today. All right, Love of Fooders. Here is our finished banana bread, and you could see the butter is just drizzling off the top of it. Doesn't that look fabulous? Wouldn't you like to have some of this nice banana nut bread too? Go to For the Love of Food and make sure that you get the recipe. All right. Thanks for watching.